there's a great pressure to be a certain kind of mom and have a certain kind of experience. You know, we took down the wife. Now I think we need to take down the mother. They are artists, innovators, and media pioneers. Famous names that are challenging the status quo. This is Acting Disruptive. Hello? Hey! Hi. How you doing? Oh my god! Um, mm, I'm so glad. What? I'm so good late. to see you. I'm sorry. Last night, one kid was sick who got into bed with us and then was kicking Bill, so Bill got out of the bed. And then the other kid came in and was like, I want to get into bed, but I was in bed with the sick kid, so I was like, you can't, so she got into bed with Bill. Anyway, you know, motherhood can be really judgmental. It can be a judgmental enterprise, you know? It's like the breastfeeders versus the bottle feeders. I mean, I get it. I, I like, yeah. I breastfed for what? Three years straight, and it's no joke. I mean, look, look what it did to me, right? And you kind of go, oh, that's sad. I, okay, I mean, this will take me a second. So just take a load off. Okay. Hey, I poured you okay. some coffee. Oh, thank you so much. So what is What the Flicka? What the Flicka is um, a site for women and moms to come together and have it be okay, whatever their experience is. And they could sit up on the virtual kitchen counters and share and laugh and cry and complain and learn from each other and take and give advice. So you, you call What the Flicka your virtual kitchen counter because as a kid, you and your sisters would hang out in the kitchen, right? Talking. Yeah. People always ask me why I started it. And I think that what is being disruptive right now with motherhood is saying it out loud. I find a lot of mothering to be difficult, drudgery, guilt-ridden, and yet you go out in the world with kind of like, oh my God, I hate this. And everyone sucks back as if you're a murderer. And I sort of say, what about if we were disruptive by going, anything your experience is, it's okay. And I think if you were that kind of disruptive, those are my kids. You hear that? They're disrupting things. They're disrupting things. But it's okay. So when viewers go to What the Flick for the first time, uh -huh. what can they expect to see? They see everything. They see things for food, for entertainment. There's a whole section called Picky Little Eaters. Mm. A whole section called You're Gonna Love This, which is our newest things of what we're sort of into and what we love. So we're going to yoga. Right, so much as I loved having coffee in my kitchen, we want to go talk to some moms. We want to see what the experience is, and I, I want to ask them some questions. thing because I did a lot of mommy and me classes my girls are older now that you sit down in the circle and your palms start to sweat you're like I hope my kid talks and maybe my kid won't talk and so I'm just gonna ask um, you guys some questions we have a series on what the flicka called what I wish I'd known like I wish I'd known that it actually takes two hours to get out of the house so is there anything that you wish you had known? I wish I had known that I would never be able to go to the bathroom by myself again. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I wish I had known that I would feel guilty going to work. But I find still that when I'm there, I feel mixed. You have been reading my mail. I spent <laughs> so much of my life feeling guilty. And yet, if I was a stay-at-home mom, Fantastic, if you can do it, I would blow my brains out. I need to go to work just so I could actually sit down and have a cup of tea, and yet I am just racked with guilt all the time. Even as a stay-at-home mom, then I feel guilty. Like, oh, my kids should, maybe they would do better if they were in preschool more, you know what I mean? So I don't think it, I think either way you feel right. yeah. guilty. Yeah, I'd like to know what you guys think about um, a site like Felicity's that sort of provides a, a safe zone for parents to come out regardless of their parenting style and meet others that are going through the same sorts of things. I've noticed on message boards, if I'm searching for my daughter wakes up four times a night, the people that are writing back are saying, my daughter sleeps from seven until seven. But I mean, I don't wanna, I don't wanna admit that my daughter doesn't sleep all that well. It's kind of like admitting failure, so it's great that there's a space where you can. Cool, well, thank you guys thank so you much. Guys. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you, I appreciate wanting to yeah. Bye. Bye. That was good. That was awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course. This. I didn't really flash you in the bathroom.
had to put up with you know uh, advertising and sponsorship that wasn't really in line with who we are. So we decided to start our own company, called it Vert, and it worked.